Good morning. Welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. My name is Jose. I'm a part of the college and career ministry at Mainland Baptist Church. And today's devotional is entitled Holiness. And the scripture we will be in is Isaiah chapter 52 verses 11 through 13. And it reads, Depart ye, depart ye, go ye out from thence, touch no unclean thing. Go ye out of the midst of her, be ye clean, that bear the vessels of the Lord. For ye shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight. For the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your reward. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted and extolled, and be very high. And this is what the devotional reads. The Scottish pastor Robert Murray of McShine wrote to a missionary friend who had just been ordained and said this, In great measure, according to the purity and perfections of the instrument, will be the success. It is not great talents God blesses so much as great likeness to Jesus. A holy minister is an awful weapon in the hand of God. Though we live in a world that is defiled and filled with sin, we do not have to succumb to the temptations that drag down so many. As Christians, it is possible to live a holy and God-honoring life even when surrounded by great wickedness. Joseph and Daniel illustrate that it is possible to be in the middle of a heathen culture and yet do what is right. Too many in our day have adopted the mindset that we must become more and more like the world to be effective in our witness. And yet this viewpoint is not consistent with scripture. The Lord Jesus was called a friend of publicans and sinners in Matthew eleven nineteen, But he remained pure and sinless. We do not have to isolate ourselves from the world to ensure our holiness. Rather, we should walk through the world with our eyes fixed on Jesus. Loving him rightly and realizing his love for us helps ensure that we can be in the world without the world becoming a part of us. And today's growth principle goes along with this. It says, your ability and usefulness to God for his work is determined by your holiness far more than it is by your talent. What a thought. Holiness. You can be the most talented, gifted person in the world, but if you're not living a life that's set apart for Christ, how is God going to use you in his work? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, thank you for this day. Thank you for your love for us, Lord. God, I pray for a great day today, God, and help us remember this devotional just to know that um, we need to be holy, God, as you say in First Peter 1, 15 and 16, Lord, be ye holy for I am holy, God. And just what a thought, Lord, that we can be holy, God, through you, Lord, and just focusing on you, God. Help us not think that we need to be like the world to reach the world, Lord, and to know that you can't use a dirty vessel. So clean us, um, forgive us, God, and um, just um, help our thought life, help our actions, Lord, to please you so we can be a better witness um, for you, God, so people can see that we're different because we want to live for you. Lord, we love you and pray for a good day. Give us strength, strength so we can um, live holy lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us on Renew. I hope you have a great day. And remember our key verse, Romans 12, 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind.